The Interfaith Conference was founded in 1978. I came in April of 79 as the first director. And the inspiration for it was that we jointly work on issues of justice, which is foundational to our member faith communities, and that we also must deepen understanding and respect for each other in our diverse traditions. So the founding members were the Islamic, Jewish, Protestant, and Roman Catholic faith communities in this region. And since then, Baha'i, Buddhist, Hindu, Jain, Latter-day Saint, Sikh, and Zoroastrian have joined. So it's one of the most diverse religious, interreligious organizations in the United States and the world. It is one of the very few, unfortunately, in my opinion, that does both work for deepening understanding and respect and dialogue and also work for justice in a metropolitan area. Um, and, and we defy, happily, we defy the, the experience of so many of these groups, volunteer or staffed, which believe that when they do the dialogue work or do the justice work, they'll, they'll somehow fall apart if they do the other one. And our experience is just the opposite. It is out of the trust developed in the mutual understanding and deepening of respect for each other that we're compelled to work together in the community and it's in working together in the community on justice issues that we're asking why we do that and forced back into the dialogue with each other. I think it, it benefits us uh, greatly because it multiplies the resources that are available and the collaboration that makes that possible so that when we have congregations in a neighborhood responding to a neighborhood need of some kind. One congregation may be stretched too far to be able to address that in a meaningful way by itself, but when two or five or 25 come together, then it becomes much more manageable. Uh, and those can be major issues, gang violence or youth, working with youth uh, who are out of school and sometimes getting into trouble, often not or it can be meeting the needs of the hungry and homeless in our midst, or it can be a wide variety of needs that we have. But it's that collaboration, and in the process of collaboration, usually talking about why we collaborate together on that issue and why we're involved in community service that makes such a difference and, and makes interfaith work very natural and a wonderful opportunity for our community. We can certainly increase collaborations that are, that are happening but, but can grow. Uh, in Gaithersburg, Maryland is one example of an interfaith alliance up in Gaithersburg in northern Montgomery County. Uh, Fairfax in, in um, Virginia suburb is another example of wonderful collaborations. The downtown cluster of congregations in D.C. is another wonderful example. So as we operate together, we're able to do more, speak with one voice, act together, uh, have a greater impact on community issues, whether they're very local and neighborhood-based or whether they're regional.